hello we're on the leading edge of uh, Storm Dennis today blowing a gale out there and training heavy you'll probably be able to hear it we're in the greenhouse um, fingers crossed we'll be in the greenhouse again tomorrow and the day after and the day after but hey um, I'm gonna put my mortgage on that I've tried to send the greenhouse as best I can um, thanks for all your tips there's one or two there that I like and I'll probably incorporate that into my strengthening plan as well uh, later on this week but I can't do it today it's just too wet and too windy okay what we're we talking about today well let's talk about a square foot bucket garden something that I hope to uh, build later in the year I had one last year there's plenty of videos on the channel just search on square foot bucket garden you'll find them These are my fast start potatoes. The potato in each one of these, and it's been in here for about three weeks. Um, this is normally kept in the garage. Potatoes don't need light, they haven't broken the surface yet, and I haven't watered them yet because they're still a potato. But once we get a potato plant showing in these, then these will be potted up into those 10 inch buckets. Uh, and either one or a couple of those 10 inch buckets I'll find a way into my square foot bucket garden okay what else can we show you these are some chives um, I've done nothing with these these were in the square foot bucket garden last year I've simply stood this bucket uh, outdoors so this is my bucket of chives and as you can see there's lots of fresh green growth there so this will be in the square foot bucket garden again this year. These are my strawberries. Again, I've done nothing with this. This has just stood outdoors over winter. I've just brought it into the greenhouse today uh, to show you it. Um, and these uh, wild strawberries will be again, will be in my bucket garden again uh, this year. This is my garlic. <laughs> this is my bucket of garlic. There are four cloves of garlic in there. They were only planted about three weeks ago, at about an inch down in this uh, bucket. And they're uh, late winter, early spring garlic called Casablanca. And the ticket tells me that they should be producing. Uh, garlic bulbs in June of the year and it's February now personally I can't see it but hey this garlic bucket goes in the square foot bucket garden this is some mint as you can see we've got the green shoots of recovery this mint bucket was in the square foot bucket garden last year it just stood out over winter this will be in the square foot bucket garden again this year these are some shallots, four shallots in a pot, not a lot. Uh, yeah, this is my green onion bucket. We'll either take these at maturity as shallots or we'll take them early as green onions. This will be in the square foot bucket garden this year. These are some winter onions, six in this bucket. So this is my onion bucket. I'm hoping these will produce six nice bulb onions. Um, I think we should pop one of these in the bucket garden this year. Yeah, we'll grow some onions in the bucket garden this year. This is my uh, onion bucket. Okay, well short and sweet today I need to get out of this greenhouse I'm starting to get worried um, but I hope you enjoyed this uh, this short video um, I'll be glad when 
this wind and rain gets past and we can all get back out in the garden and do some proper gardening but in the meantime um, if you can do some gardening indoors if you can sow some seeds on damp tissue uh, if you can do some fast start potatoes in yogurt pots If you can plant anything in buckets uh, and keep it in the garage, in the greenhouse, that gets you a, a fast start, doesn't it? That uh, kicks your growing season off. Okay, so this is homegrown veg, signing out and getting out.